because I think to me when I hear the spectrum, I mean, how how vast is the spectrum? And do you think that we all have a little bit, or do you think that we all fall in line at somewhere on the spectrum, even you know, quote unquote, normal people who have maybe haven't been diagnosed or anything like that? Because it seems like it it, it seems like when I meet somebody who's on the spectrum, and I a lot of times I don't really notice it until they tell me about it, or you know, they ha they. Or you know they just happen to, to mention it in passing or something like that. Uh, I mean, what what do you think about the this idea of the spectrum? Yeah, I think there's low functioning, middle functioning, high functioning, and I think studies show if you watch the Marvel, there are people on the spectrum that if you didn't they didn't exist. Half your inventions we gotta look at. Yeah, uh, Einstein. I thought you were shaking your head. No, that's why I told you. Yeah. No, no, no. I said you are 100 percent right. Oh, Einstein, Mozart. Bill Gates, Temple Grandin, holy crap! Yeah, that's that. I think I think that's what frustrates me so much is it's been going on for since Albert Einstein was even born. Does he? Yeah, yeah. The way I see it is exactly that. Years ago, the spectrum was non-existent, and so the people that were um, thought to like we know now that they probably had autism. I mean, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, they probably had autism because of how their brain was wired. Um, but it, the spectrum years ago used to be really small. And then the very low functioning people would fit on there. Then it was stretched. And a lot of people say, oh, so many more people have autism. More people have autism. Maybe so, but the people that had autism 35 years ago, they still had autism. And it just wasn't on that vast stretch. So. Yeah, you're institutionalized if you had it. Yeah, I don't think that it's, the number has changed. It probably has just because of it just being a different world right now um, with technology and with multitasking and that will change people's brain wiring. But I guess what I'm saying is it's not really that much different. Those people still existed. And some of those people went on like Temple Grand and she's actually been on Sam's show and she, we've talked to her several times. She's become kind of like a, like a mentor to Sam um, with, you know, being an aut aut autism advocate. But um, had she not had autism, she couldn't have created the vast cattle systems that she created. Autism allowed her to do that. And the NASCAR driver that was on his show that has autism had he if he didn't have autism he would be racing cars no he wouldn't he said that it's a help it's a helpful thing to me when i get on the track because i strap in and i am 100 percent hyper hyper focused on winning that race and i could not do that without autism so there's just this negative negative stigma that's attached to autism like if i had a nickel for every time somebody said Oh, he has autism. I'm sorry. Why can't we say, oh, he has autism. Look at what he can do. I mean, why can't we change that, that dialogue and, you know, change that, um, that just change that attitude towards it. Yeah. We don't have much quarters. What's that? We don't have much quarters. But... That's true. I wouldn't have had a lot of nipples. Huh? I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching Mental Health Casual. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos.